Hey, all my beloveds, and King Yeshua HaMashiach. Hope everyone's doing great. Hope everyone had a wonderful day in our beloved King. Mighty and holy and faithful is He. So at this time, let us praise our wonderful God Jehovah Elohim. Holy God of glory, grace, mercy, truth, righteousness, and it goes on and on and on, for you are everything that is good and true. You are righteous and holy, and by the power of your Holy Spirit and in your precious Son's holy name, King Yeshua HaMashiach, I come to you, my mighty Father, to his most excellent glory, to his most excellent glories, throne of grace. throne of truth and I bow down to you in complete submission I bow my knees I put my face to the ground and I come in complete submission to you thank you for this day that you have blessed me with. Thank you for such a great time spent in your word this morning with your precious son. How I love him so. I love him so very, very, very very to eternity much I don't know how else to say it he is my life he is my every moment my every half heartbeat even more than that he permeates every cell within me and oh, how he makes me so glad and happy and joyful to live in him, to live with him, to be with him, to think upon him, to give him my every decision. I pray he is my every move. that I don't go outside his will for me or your will, Father. That I will obey your perfect word. That I will obey your perfect son. And that I won't become weary in well-doing I will never let my king go. I will never let you go. King Yeshua HaMashiach. I will never let you go. I will stand upon my mighty rock. And I will plant my feet firmly upon my mighty rock. And the winds may blow and the storms may come, but I will not be moved. No, I shall not be moved, for I am strong in you, King Yeshua.
you make me strong for when I am weak and I am so very very weak your strength is made perfect and those who wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength they shall mount up as wings with wings as eagles they shall run and not be weary they shall walk and not be faint by thee I have ran through a troop and by my God I have leaped over a wall thank you for enlarging my steps father so I do not slip thank you for being my stay King Yeshua is my anchor my refuge my strength and my song and I sing to you God Jehovah all the day in my heart I love you so much I know your timing is perfect father please give me and all your saints the strength that we need to wait upon your perfect timing we will stand upon your son we will stand like a tree planted and the roots growing down we are rooted up and built up in him in your word and we shall not be moved I love you my glorious Jehovah God Almighty in the mighty and perfect faithful and true holy and righteous name of King Yeshua HaMashiach Amen and Amen okay I have Father's two words and if someone will be uh, kind enough to transcribe them and to find references for scripture that'll be ever so great thank you very much for all of you guys hard work we are all in this together and more than ever we need to cheer each other on because it is almost over we don't know when but we know that father says it's almost over so we must hold on hold on to our mighty king who will never let us go if we belong to him he will never let us go Amen to our mighty and holy Savior and Redeemer. More than a best friend, closer than a brother, our confidant. The one who we can tell anything to. And he will never condemn us for it. The one who takes upon our heavy burdens and gives us his light burdens. The one who says, come to me, who are weary, 
and I will give you rest. Let us rest in him. Let us give him all of our worries, anxieties, burdens, and let us lay them at his precious feet. For he can take it. And he gives us rest. And he knows what we need before we even know that we need it. He has it all planned out for us. All we need to do is walk in his way, in his glorious and narrow path. It was all planned out before the foundations of the world. We just need to follow him with all our heart, soul, mind, and strength. And love our mighty God, Jehovah, with all our heart, soul, mind, and strength. With everything in us. with everything in us. And if you do not know our precious Savior, King Yeshua HaMashiach, Lord Jesus Christ, please go to Romans chapter 10, verses 9 and 10. And God Almighty Himself, in His perfect word, tells you how to be saved. You must confess King Yeshua, Lord Jesus Christ, with your mouth. And you must believe in thine heart that God raised him from the dead. And thou shalt be saved. I wanted to read some scripture because what are you saved from? When King Yeshua saves us, what are we saved from? Let me read this to you. All right, this is Colossians 3, chapter 6. For which things sake the wrath of God cometh on the children of disobedience. And in, let's see, uh, where did it go to? Ten second Thessalonians. Okay, and then first the first Thessalonians chapter two, verses sixteen. Let me go to fifteen because it'll give you context. Verse 15, who both killed the Lord Jesus and their own prophets and have persecuted us and they please not God and are contrary to all men. And verse 16, forbidding us to speak to the Gentiles that they might be saved to fill up their sins alway, for the wrath is come upon them to the uttermost. It's God's wrath that we are saved from. And um, I know there's uh, one more. And it says about keeping us from Father's wrath. I should have prepared more and written some written this down but I did not I thought it was in John somewhere um, if I can't find it as I go through John, I'll just note this for 
another time. Um, so, sorry about this. I don't think I'm going to find it. No, but I'll have to note it down. But anyway, we are saved from the wrath of God. When God the Father looks at us, and if we belong to King Yeshua, His blood that He shed at His sacrifice, His willing sacrifice, is it covers us. And when God the Father looks at us, He sees King Yeshua's blood covering us. And then his wrath is turned away from us. If we do not have King Yeshua as our Lord and Savior, we do not have King Yeshua's blood covering us, and therefore we have the wrath of the Father upon us still. And nobody wants that. Nobody wants the wrath of the Father. So, I know it's more deeper than this, but this is one of the script, you know, one of the things that I found in Scripture that uh, we are saved from the wrath of God. I'm sure there is much more to it than that, but uh, that's the Scripture that I have found. And like I said, I know there's many more that the Holy Spirit's been pointing out to me. In the past few days um, guys you don't want the father's wrath upon you he gave me a dream and father was about to destroy some poor soul I don't know who it was and you know you don't have any control when you're dreaming but at the very end of this dream, right before Father was about to destroy this person because his wrath was upon him, because he did not have the blood of Jesus upon him, right before the dream ended, I covered him very quickly. And that was the end of the dream. But the, um, the whole point of it was that that person did not have King Yeshua's blood covering him or her. I don't know. Like I said, I don't know who it was. I just know that I covered the person because I knew I had King Yeshua's blood upon me. And I felt probably just a snippet and not even that of Father's wrath. And let me tell you, it is truly frightening. It was truly, truly a frightening few moments in that dream where I felt his wrath upon that person. And it wasn't even upon me. It was upon that person. And I felt it. And it was, oh, so very powerful. So I wanted to tell you that I've said this in other videos that uh, King Yeshua had wanted me to tell you about that dream, but I brought it up again to um, emphasize the point of Father's wrath. It is real. It is very real. And if you don't accept King Yeshua as your Lord and Savior, you have his wrath upon you. And um, you only have this earth, this life, this one life to make a choice. And I pray that everyone that walks this earth accepts King Yeshua as their Lord and Savior. Because you don't want to die with Father's wrath upon you. You don't want to die with this one life that you have on earth without accepting King Yeshua as your Redeemer.
your Lord and Savior, your Messiah. Because the scriptures say that you go to hell if you do not accept King Yeshua. And no one wants to go there. It's a place where the worm dieth not. And the fire consumes you eternally. And hallelujah to our precious Savior who saves us from that. He saves us from the wrath of God. He saves us from going to hell. He saves us to the uttermost. Amen. How I love my perfect God and King and Savior and Redeemer. King Yeshua HaMashiach. Lord Jesus Christ who wants none of his creation to perish but have everlasting life with him. Amen. Hallelujah. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty who was, who is, and is to come. And the scriptures also say that Jesus Christ is the same as yesterday, today, and forever. Amen. All right, here is Father's first word. Please take this word into prayer. I received this word from Father God Yahweh at 4.06 p.m. today, 16 April, 2016. Daughter, kind and true are you. Write Father God Yahweh's eternal words down that you received in my holy throne room. Write, my wonderful daughter. Do not be anxious. Anxiousness leads to worry, and worry leads to the incorrect direction that God Jehovah wants you to be on. The devil uses so many tricks on my precious saints. It's hard for Papa to watch my children fall into an empty well, a well that is void of my living waters that will never go dry. Children, Father wants you to obey my Son. I want you to be completely engulfed in Him. Do you know that Father could just let you go your own way without being chastised or scourged by me? If you are my holy child, I will see to it that you will be purged and brought through my son's refining fires, even if you choose to walk away from some of them. It is better to suffer for righteousness sake than it is for the enemy. However, Father will allow many things to happen in my saints' lives to get your heart where I want it to be. It is a fearful thing to fall into my hands, but do not be afraid, for what I do is completely for your own good and benefit. Fear your Jehovah God, and it shall be well with you. Go your own way, and ignore me, and it will become a very painful experience to get you back walking in a broken state with my son. Once you belong to my son Yeshua, Father will never let you go. Neither will my son. 
even if you quench my Holy Spirit within you. You are written in the palms of my hands and in the Lamb's book of life. How you obey me now may have a tremendous impact on the latter part. Things are going to be haywire very quickly and you are going to need to be strong to stand upon my son. Strength comes from obedience, my saints. Show me sincerity and I will keep you from the deep waters. Father God Yahweh, Elohim, the great I am, will keep my flock in check always, has spoken. Okay, and here's Father's second word. Please take this word into prayer. I received this word from Father God Yahweh at 1129 p.m. today, 16 April 2016. Daughter, humble and lowly you are. Write Papa's words that you received in my holy, in, I'm sorry, that you received in my holy throne room. Write, my blessed child. Hear me, Father God Jehovah. Who amongst you are going back to sleep? Father says many of you grow weary and tired of waiting. Even my daughter has her very weary moments with my son. Saints, be strong in my son Yeshua. He will get you through. The blast of the breath of my nostrils is going to be waking up my whole earth with a very rude awakening. People are going to be taken by complete surprise. Will Father send his sign before the complete judgment hits? Has not Father said he would? I shall send a sign that is on its way, but the world will brush it off. But my saints will know it is my sign, and that that is the world's warning. It will be a powerful sign that none can ignore, but Satan has his minions that will try to explain it away. Never stop being vigilant, my holy children, for it could create much chaos in your life, in your family's life. You are almost home, and you are already on the last leg of this race that is but a tiny vapor compared to my eternity that my son gives you freely with your mighty God, Jehovah. My beautiful saints, Father has told you that you will see the rising of the son of perdition, but that you won't be here long after he makes his appearance. Every one of you need to continue learning more of my word, for Satan will try to destroy my word my Bibles, my ministries. What I, God Jehovah Elohim, will allow to happen for a short time. Just try to imagine yourselves soon helping my lost children who cannot find their way home Oh, the joy of just one soul being saved from eternal damnation in my heavenlies, for everyone rejoices. It is a great time of merriment and celebration. You will know what I am talking about when you are finally with me and my son. Father God Yahweh, Elohim Eternal, it is almost time, my blessed saints, do not give up, has spoken. Okay. 
And let's um, put on our spiritual armor every morning before we get up. It's in Ephesians chapter 6 verses 10 to 18. And let's capture our thoughts and cast down every imagination. And know that God is mighty in pulling down strongholds. And that's in 2 Corinthians chapter 10 verses 4 to 5. Use King Yeshua's mighty name against the enemy, against what's afflicting you. Rebuke it in his name, in King Yeshua's mighty name. Apply King Yeshua's blood upon you every day. Apply it to your family. Apply it to your pets. Apply it to everything that you own, all your vehicles, your comings, and your goings. Because his blood protects you, and his blood defeats the enemy. And also, stay in God's word. His holy word is perfect and true. And you must have the faith to know that every word in his Bible is directly from God and that it is flawless and inerrant and there are no errors in his holy word his word leads us and guides us as God does for his word is King Yeshua in the flesh and his word is beautiful. Ask the Holy Spirit to lead you to all of His truths and ways as you read His Word. All right, here is the ironic blessing. Chapter 6. Verses 22 to 27. Oops. I need to put my bookmark back in here. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto Aaron and unto his sons, saying, On this wise ye shall bless the children of Israel, saying unto them, The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee, and give thee peace. And they shall put my name upon the children of Israel, and I will bless them. All right. In the holy and perfect and mighty, most wonderful and beautiful name, King Yeshua HaMashiach, Lord Jesus Christ, Baruch Hashem Adonai. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen and Shalom.